So for our innovation, we decided on an app that would help the medical industry and we decided to name it Metadata. So Metadata is basically an app that allows for any person to have the opportunity to be able to store any type of records. So that being medical records such as allergies or shots, surgeries, diseases, and it also includes a lot of subtools that would be able to inc increase its usage and reliability. So um, there's a lot of situations where people can't access their information. So, um, sometimes they go abroad or they go to a different medical provider and they usually show up at the doctor's office and a lot of times they get the same questions um, basically saying like are you allergic to any medical and any medications, um, any surgeries in the last so and so months, um, just the basic questions and that in time that does waste a lot of time when you're at a doctor's appointment or if it's an emergency and so to be able to um, help the doctor basically get to the point of what the issue is that's why we have created metadata so um, and also just a lot of situations where you're not um, you're gonna be rumbling through papers and things like that um, and a lot of the sub tools that it does include and one of, one of the big ones is when you travel abroad um, when you want to eat certain foods or certain products and they have labels but you can't really understand them and, and different in a different language uh, metadata allows you to scan the, pro the ingredients in that product and tell you if it's healthy for you or not Hey, um, hospitals have a lot of access to this information too, but sometimes it is quite difficult when the information is not shared as quickly across different systems. Metadata, um, it actually allows hospitals to adopt a new form of technology that is based on service and reliability. A universal provider, so wherever you go, you'll be able to pull up your history. A bit of a long path to get, up, I'm sorry, a bit of a long path to getting hospitals switching to a universal tool like this but at least in the meantime, the users have access to it personally to update. Instead of repeating the same information over and over again, it makes it easier for the doctor and the patient. Access to metadata allows you to organize the information into files based on similarity, similarities. Updates can be at your own time to help you inform when you have to go to your next visit. Um, Just um, a couple more tools that come with metadata is um, you can act, it's an app but you can also ac ac access it on a desktop um, so like any information that you store on metadata that you up you can update personally wh wherever you are at um, it will update to the desktop so a lot of issues like hospitals they have signs that say no cell phone usage um, that that way they when they when you show up to the doctor's appointment you're at your doctor's visit um, the doctor can easily pull it up from his desktop. Um, so basically everyone has information to um, metadata that is a medical provider or you the user but you also have um, you only only you have access to your personal information so you of course there's like um, security questions and uh, a lot of login protocols um, to avoid basically getting hacked. Um, other tools are like file organization. You can organize um, your records based on, uh, that way it'll be easier to, to find when you're looking for them. Um, you also have camera access. So when you open metadata, you can basically take pictures of these different files. If, um, if you can't type the information in, it'll be easier to store them as pictures. And um, you can update your health from time to time. And there's also a setup for regular checkups. So, um, so let's say you're too busy to uh, go to the doctor and just check up on your health and everything. Um, the alarm setups basically remind you that you're due for your next checkup. Um, and it also, even if you don't set up an alarm reminder, it does remind you from, the, from time to time just in case um, you might have like any new updates on your health. There's also a search bar that you can 
access to be able to look up symptoms um, for different diseases and things like that. A lot of people don't feel comfortable like wasting their time going to, to the doctor's office um, or going to the emergency room because they find something is wrong with them. So they can look up their symptoms basically and get a better clue of what, what's going on. And there's also different language settings, so it's available to different people with uh, different languages. And um, there's also the travel com comfortability. So basically the being able to recognize um, different food labels. Okay, the benefits um, that you can get from metadata. Uh, parents who can't keep up with all their kids' records, checkups and appointments, because you know, you have different kids, one gets sick, you have to keep up with all of their information. Um, the elder population, especially because, especially those who have Alzheimer's, um, who can't really remember, you know, their medical issues and stuff and what they have to take and their medications and stuff like that, that would, this would definitely, definitely be beneficial to them. Um, helps with memory re retention, retention. <laughs> um, more comfortability in traveling, um, shorter line waiting periods because once again since you already have the information pulled up you already know what you can and cannot take and all of that it'll, your doctor appointment will be way faster. Um, better diagnosis uh, and public knowledge basically. Uh, what could go wrong? Um, so a couple of things that could go wrong is the development stages, basically the startup, um, getting hospitals to switch to a universal, um, to the universal app basically, and improper testing also, privacy, um, a lot of people would find it very hard to trust the app because they're just giving out all their health information like that, but that's why we also would have like a lot of security measures and then the rel reliability and funding from hospitals um, and then of, of course again like trust security hacking a lot of those things could go wrong in the meantime um, also insufficient information um, a lot of people could use the app a lot but if you don't provide it enough information you won't be it won't be able to help you um, and then just basically the audience and response to the app. And strategy, strategies that could go basically with it um, is it does have a lot of uh, tools that benefit different um, platforms, different age groups, and it's for, that's why it has different sub tools for different purposes. So it, we're trying to um, benefit everyone. And um, we could also have a lot of privacy contracts and user agreements that would be included when you go to your doctor's office. Um, that way, it, doctors would give you the choice if you would like to switch over. And just a lot of high, high security encryption. Okay, um, to create the app, we will use another app. It's called App Maker. Um, it is easy and fast, and it the app gives you all the tools that you would need to create an app. Um, you don't need a team, which is the best part about this. So you, we can do this just together on our own, and then build a team later. Um, metadata will be free, and we will um, get all our money from sponsoring. Um, we was thinking about a premium version, but we feel like everyone, no matter what their financial status, should have the same equal um, access to the app. Um, the app will be available on iPhones and Androids, and we will have a des desktop versions for people who either don't have um, iPhones or Androids or who just aren't really good with phones. Um, but, but because the app does store a lot of information, our customers need to know that they need to have a lot of storage in their phone in order to download this app. Um, we, we're hoping we can sponsor it at any place where you can pick up um, medicine or hospitals, of course. In doctor's office, you can sponsor it anywhere just so they know about the app and customers can use it. Um, 
the another issue that will come up with creating this app is the hiring process because we are doing this independently it's going to be very hard to find people who would want to work with us and for us because we can't 100 percent oh, confirm that this is gonna blow up and we don't know how fast it's gonna expand so we don't know how much money they'll get from it so they'll probably need to side hustle while working with us but to help with that we will have flyers we will use our platform on social media and we will tell people by mouth about the job um, once we get people who are interested uh, um, we will start looking for the needed qualifications and the qual qualifications include um, your employment history we want to make sure that you are comfortable comfortable in the medical field since obviously you need to know about the medicines and stuff in this app um, and we want about around two years or more in the field so this will just ensure that you are 100% comfortable and you have a little bit of knowledge we want people who are bilingual since it does include some translating um, they don't they don't need to be in the medical field but we want them to still be at least familiar with some medical terms just in case we have to translate a medicine or an ingredient or something. So the organizational capabilities that um, the app basically brings is it brings flexibility and um, response. So um, if you're able to meet customer, we're able to meet com customer demands. So you do have the option of responding um, if you have any issues with the app, um, any things that you, any extra features you think that would work better with the app.